Alright, what's going on guys? We're going to do another video, and uh, this time I'm going to be going over all the main highlights of the Xbox reveal. So, yeah. First off, um, I think the biggest thing that everybody uh, has been wanting for is the price. The price is $499.99, so basically $500. So, yeah. Um, I personally, I don't really like this being 500 bucks for this new console but let's not forget that it does come with connect so you know connects like another hundred dollar thing thing so it would normally be like 400 bucks uh, without connect but you uh, everyone you have to have connect connected uh, to even like t play the console so yeah all right so the next feature or I should say the next key point of this reveal um, is that they announced they are getting rid of Microsoft points completely. So uh, personally, I really like this just because having to like go out to like Target or Best Buy to track down like a 1600 Microsoft point card, um, it was annoying. And then having to like link your credit card your to your account and it just it was a big hassle. So, whenever like a DLC would su or something would come out, um, you'd always have to make sure that you have enough Microsoft points in your account beforehand, and then you have to download it. And you always have those like 120 Microsoft points like left over that you can't spend on like anything. So, yeah, um, it is being moved over to your current currency, so like euros, pounds, dollars. Yeah, so, um, a DLC is for Call of Duty 15 bucks instead of, uh, 1200 Microsoft points, so, yeah. And next, there is a new Xbox 360. Personally, I don't really see why anyone would buy this. I, I'm, I am going to buy one, but, um, if you, if you don't have a Xbox, why would you purchase a 360 right now when in a couple months the Xbox One will be released? And uh, I assume probably within probably in about a year that's when they're stop gonna they're gonna stop making Xbox 360 games and yeah. So they said they're gonna still you know uh, keep the 360 up to date, but. Um, there's just going to be so many new features on the Xbox One, the 360, like, if something looks at you and you have, you have a 360, you're gonna, they're going to be like, you know, you suck, you, you're poor, you can't afford this good one, so, yeah. Um, next, they announced that for gold members, um, soon, two free games will come to Xbox Live every single month. And I think it starts in July or something. And they're starting with Assassin's Creed 2 and Halo 3. So they can't do the new games just because if they were doing Halo 4, uh, if you get the game for free, it's 60 bucks when it first came out. You know, you just wait a couple months and now it's free. Yeah, uh, that wouldn't be a pretty good business standpoint. So, yeah. And... Uh, next, you can live stream directly to Twitch, which I am super happy about this, just because, um, with Call of Duty, when you log on to Black Ops 2, you had to live stream, you had to go on to multiplayer, and you had to go in to the live stream option, and enter a code on your Google account, and link it and everything, plug in a webcam, and you could, it get interrupted after 30 minutes and um, you could only play multiplayer but with this you can play any game on the Xbox one and you can play um, like any game mode so with if you wanted to play uh, Call of Duty Ghosts um, I assume there's gonna be a live stream feature built in to ghosts, but if it's like Black Ops 2 and it's only for multiplayer, 
you could just use the Xbox's live stream to um, live stream, say, the campaign or the other mode, uh, Spec Ops, whatever it's going to be called. So, yeah. And lastly, uh, they announced that it's going to be released November 2013. So, as we all know, Call of Duty Ghost comes out November 5th. And, um, one thing I'm sort of interested about hearing is that, um, is the console going to release before Call of Duty Ghost comes out? Or are we all, all going to have to buy the uh, Xbox 360 version and then ha wait a couple weeks until the Xbox One releases? So, um... I think that would sort of just blow the whole game, uh, just because a lot of the features on the Xbox One won't be available on the 360, so, um, the 360 version, it's still going to be pretty good, they said, but it's not going to be, um, as good as, say, the Xbox One, and, um, most people, they're hoping to, uh, get a really, you know, when they start up the game, a huge, awesome experience instead of sort of this, yeah, it's the same thing we had last year, yeah, yeah, yada, 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 and then a couple weeks later, oh, you added a couple new features in the Xbox One, okay, so, I think they should make a huge jump instead of this small little, uh, I don't know, sort of stairs to get to the Xbox One version, so... Yeah, once again, when do you guys think it'll release in November? I I personally think it'll release November 1st. That way you'll have a couple days to get it before Call of Duty Ghost. Just because Xbox is part, partnered with Activision. So, yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, one last thing, actually. Uh, they are releasing a... Xbox One Day One Edition. So, I actually, I bought that myself. Uh, a ton of people bought it. Um, personally, I think the best place to purchase this is at Amazon. Just because if you don't have the money right now, so if you're like, dang, I really want that awesome new console, but I don't have the money right now. So, yeah, like at GameStop, the minimum purchase or the minimum amount of money that you have to put down on the console is a hundred dollars so you have to fork over a hundred dollars right now and then um let's say uh, GameStop loses your receipt or something or something happens then you just lost that hundred bucks whereas on Amazon you get the you're guaranteed the console but you don't have to pay for it until it ships so once they start shipping it to you that's when you have to fork over the 500 bucks. So, I think it's personally a better deal, just because if you don't have the money right now, then you can just, you know, go ahead and make sure you at least have one and when the console releases. Make sure that you have one pre-ordered and saved for you. And um, when the new console comes out, if, let's say, you don't have the full 500 bucks, you can cancel the order at any time. And you don't even have to put in your credit card or anything, so it won't charge you. And you ha you haven't paid anything yet, so, you know, you're not losing any money. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much going to do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.